House Bill 309 deals with a lot of different parts of Metro Louisville government, but one of the most controversial parts, and one that still hasn't been resolved, deals with oversight of LMPD. This isn't just bad legislation, it's a bad idea. Instead, we would call upon Frankfurt to realize that we are not their enemy. Early in the morning, Metro Council Democrats held a press conference in opposition to House Bill 309. One of their top concerns lies with the newly created Citizen Review Board and Inspector General, formed in the wake of Breonna Taylor's death. They want the Inspector General to have direct subpoena powers to force LMPD officers to testify and hand over evidence. The language in there is unworkable for Civilian Review Board. And because of that, it will cause unrest and frustration Instead, Republican lawmakers want the board to go through the Metro Council for subpoenas. Democrats say that will politicize investigations, but Republicans are worried the board will be anti-police. A couple of them said that FOP was white supremacy, the LMP are evil, and the devil. And most concerning, if that weren't concerning enough, is they said police officers aren't entitled to due process. That's the group that some folks would give subpoena power to. Jefferson County Republican Jason Nemus also shot back at criticism of the bill from Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher. A senator and I met with the mayor's top two people this past summer. She gave us the, the mayor's top ten list. On that list was direct subpoena power. But listen to me closely here. I'll take a lie detector test. Both of those ladies told me and this senator, this is on our list, but the mayor doesn't want it. It's bad policy. In response, Fisher issued a statement that read, in part, not only are Representative Nemus' allegations not true, they represent a sad attempt to distract from a bad bill that the residents of Louisville do not want. Now, Senator Morgan McGarvey, a Louisville Democrat, says that he hopes the bill will find its way to a free conference committee. That's a special process where he and some other lawmakers from Jefferson County can hopefully iron out a good compromise. But time is running out. The veto break starts Wednesday, and after that, they've only got two days, March 29th and March 30th, to pass any more legislation. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. Clock is ticking. Now, for now, all the language about the Civilian Review Board has been taken out of the bill. That could change on the floor.